what if i describe a musical idea cooking in my head directly with an llm like chat gpt can it be translated to notations or code like instructions that can be directly interpreted by ableton live to create music with absolute control to further tweak them within live because it is midi not audio my name is nikhil and i'm an ableton certified trainer based in india in this video we look at m2tm notes a mind boggling midi tool developed for ableton live that works on text based notations it is loaded with a lot of functionality and it holds its own as a unique music making approach However we'll specifically look at working with it as a gateway or a medium between ChatGPT and Ableton Live while making this music that you're listening to. To start off you can download the AMXT device file from the web store and load it onto Ableton Live's user library. Also within the downloads is this text file where you'll find instructions for your preferred LLM. I simply pasted the contents here and now the LLM is aware of basic M2TM notations. And that's about it. You can select any MIDI clip, hover down to the Generate tab, and select M2TM Notes to get started. Now, if we ask it to make a D note, it will generate an expression or a statement with five parts separated by a colon. The first part is the note name and octave number. Next is the duration, which can also be in fractions, velocity, gated note length, and chance or probability. When we copy this into live, we get a D3 note as expected. Now let us tweak these values directly inside live's clip view to understand it better. As you can see, we can directly affect the pitch value and hit enter. The duration can be standard abbreviations like this or fractions. We can similarly specify the remaining attributes using the colon symbol as the separator and instantly observe the changes when we hit enter. Now let's see how a chord is made using M2TM. One way to do this is to specify the note and octave number pairs continuously. The velocity of the chord notes can be individually specified within the bracket separated by commas. Also for things like velocity or the chance parameter, we can create more dynamics by using this expression to give us a random value between a minimum and a maximum. This button on the bottom re-triggers the code, generating random values every time. Let's walk through making some music. To start things off, I wanted a 4-bar chord progression in D minor. The generated output allowed me to randomize velocities in a controlled manner. A tiny bit faster than I expected, so I tried half speed. As expected, the duration changed from half note to whole note. So now to make things a little interesting, I asked GPT to take the previous output and lower the octave, split the chords and cycle each repetition through an inversion of the respective chord. And when we stack multiple sounds... That escalated quickly. It jumped up a notch. With this prompt, we are looking at melodic arpeggiation of the existing progression. And along with the chords... With this, I'm randomizing note length of the melody, which can be expressive on sounds with quick release. Now, M2TM notes can create patterns, but can it also read existing MIDI notes? It is possible to extract patterns from live's clip view with this button and get ChatGPT to alter it. Let us add some strumming effect on these chords. We can strum any chord by adding this specific notation as a prefix before the chord. This notation goes as ST followed by a number which defines the strumming style followed by duration which is the delay between individual strum notes of the chord. While ChatGPT understands what strumming means, it does not know the M2TM notations for strumming. This text file that we shared with ChatGPT earlier only covers the basic notations. So with the help of the reference manual, I had to teach ChatGPT how to strum M2TM style. Now, coming back to the chords that we had fetched from Ableton Live, I asked ChatGPT to strum those chords creatively. In the next prompt, I went for the bass line, followed by a slow melody line for pads. 
It is possible that this approach may not always translate your ideas effectively, and it takes some iterations to get it right. With tools like M2TM Notes, applications of AI need not replace our creativity, it can expand it. That's it for this video. Take care.